Summer of Pain, week two. Let's get it. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So Summer of Pain, week number two is here, and I got a few fights for you, not all complete fights, uh, but I'm showing you guys my first attempts here. Uh, that's why I'm including all of this, so you can see that this was my first attempt at trying to take down this Mr. Sinister. All right, and we're going to use Archangel. Uh, I was watching uh, another YouTuber, KT1, and he took down Mr. Sinister pretty quickly and easily with his uh, six-star Archangel. Well, I don't have a six-star Archangel. I have a five-star rank five Archangel, and my Archangel does have uh, maxed out SIG, and I am running suicides. All right, so uh, you saw the nodes we have to deal with. Basically, you're not going to gain any power unless you put a damaging debuff on your opponent. Uh, the EMP modification means you don't want a dex, okay? So what I'm trying to do here is get the neurotoxins on Mr. Sinister. I need at least three to be safe from him transferring uh, bleeds and poisons over to me because Archangel is not immune to those things. However, as long as I have at least three neurotoxins on Mr. Sinister... I'm safe. All right. Now we can get lucky and with uh, two neurotoxins or even one, you know, we might not get it transferred, but I would not rely on that. All right. Now my first attempt, as you can see, uh, didn't go so well here. Uh, I was like, wait, wait, what just happened? I just got smacked up, but you know, I still, I was game. I wanted to see how far I could go. I was pretty sure at this point I wanted to restart. But for a first try, I don't think it went so badly. You know, I've already seen him do it. And I can dex the uh, special one and the special two uh, with no problem. But you don't want to do that unless you have the neuros on Mr. Sinister, if you're using Archangel. All right, and you can see here my health is really low and I'm not going to be able to survive the uh, block damage. All right, so uh, I pushed him to a special two. Now, you may not want to do it if you can't evade your special two. Right there, I got clipped at the end of the special two, even after I evaded it a couple of times. Uh, it can be a little tricky. Uh, I know Metal Sonic Dude has a way of evading it. I need to practice that way. Uh, of dashing in and then dashing back out to evade the special two. I've never tried it, didn't want to try it here. All right, so that was my first try. All right, we have not taken down Mr. Sinister yet. So we're going in with a second try of Archangel, okay? Now, uh, a little something about the uh, strategy here. Uh, what you want to do you saw that I got some uh, bleeds on him. Then you want to parry and wait until he has poisons on him. Then do the heavy attack. Some people mess up and they just have bleeds. They'll hit the parry and then they'll do a heavy attack. But if he doesn't have poisons on him, then he's not going to convert him to neurotoxins. So uh, it is a bit RNG based. So get the bleeds. Don't push him to a special one yet. Just get the bleeds on him and then parry until you have poisons and then fire the heavy off. Hope you get enough neurotoxins in order to shut it down. Okay. And you can see here, I pushed him to a special two, but look at how quickly his health melted. Now, the other thing here, uh, the dex here is fine because I have the neurotoxins on him. Uh, I could probably evade the uh, special one as well as long as I have the neuros on, on him. But what I tend to do is I tend to parry the uh, special one, all right? So you can see here, they had dropped off, and so I had to reset. And right there, I dexed. I did evade it, but I had enough neurotoxins on him so that I was safe. 
So whichever way you want to do it, you can evade his specials or you can try to parry. I don't advise parrying his uh, special two. It does a lot of damage, uh, even into your block. But if you have enough neurotoxins, you are safe. Okay, so you see here, got you know enough neurotoxins that I don't have to worry about it. You know, got some more parry uh, poisons on him, and we're coming into the end here. All right, and then boom, didn't have to worry about it. You saw that I parried that one, just in case it wasn't trying to, you know, take any chances here. We're at the end, and he's done. All right, so that was our second attempt with Archangel and our first defeat of Mr. Sinister. And we were able to get a one shot. This was much easier than the week number one. That rogue was horrible. All right, now don't go anywhere. Uh, I do have a couple of other attempts. There were no more solos, but I wanted to test to see how different champions would work because I saw uh, a few suggestions from some people uh, with, uh, I think uh, during one of the streams I was watching. All right, so next up, we're gonna try Warlock. All right, now uh, the basic strategy for Warlock, you want to fire off heavy attacks. That's gonna put a bleed on him and that bleed is how he will get power. Uh, now I'm running suicide, so I don't wanna fire a lot of specials. So. You want to avoid dexing still, okay? And you can see here, uh, I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but again, this was my first try with Warlock, trying to see, you know, how good and viable he is for this. All right, so I don't know why I got that shock on me initially. I didn't think I dexed or anything like that, but I got the shock. Uh, maybe you can leave a comment below, let me know why I got that initial shock on me. Um, but all I'm trying to do here, you can see here, he's immune. So I just blocked it. Uh, and I'm just doing the heavy attacks, gaining more power. Again, I don't know if this is the best strategy when using Warlock, all right? And you can see here, still trying to avoid dexing. And at this point, I had a special three ready. Why not, you know? Uh, it'll put a power drain on him, but we really weren't having a lot of problems with his power. But at this point, I knew that Warlock would work. Uh, so took two big beefy hits to the face. All right, but uh, hopefully you can see that Warlock will work. Now, I was pretty sure I wasn't gonna get the solo. I had messed up, my health was too low. Uh, to be able to last too much longer. Uh, but I wanted to continue uh, just to see the uh, viability of Warlock. And my conclusion is that Warlock can definitely do this fight. Um, I don't know what the best strategy is, uh, but I'm gonna go out with a bang here because I know that I'm not gonna make it. I have uh, very little health. And so um, I think here, yeah, I just went in for the kill here. Uh, boom, and my suicides were gonna take me out. But I just wanted to basically spit in his face just before I went. All right, so Warlock will work. The next one I tried, and this will be the last one for this video. Uh, and that was Doom. All right, now, when I did week number one, there were some other options I could have gone with, but I went with Dragon Man because he was the safest. It was a longer fight, but it was a very safe fight with Dragon Man. Well, with Dr. Doom, it's a similar thing, all right? He is fairly safe. You can dex, he's shock immune, you don't have to worry about anything. He can put on a shock debuff, so he's gonna be able to gain power. But the fight is gonna be very long. Uh, I heard some people telling me that they beat him 
with like a 500 hit combo. I don't know if they were running suicides or not. All right. So I wanted to just see how Doom would do here. And as you can see, he's doing just fine. All right. He's able to gain power. Uh, because I'm running suicides, I don't want to spam special one or special two. So it will take a little bit longer because I would be cycling special threes to save his health. Okay. Um, but I do go for a little bit just uh, to show you guys uh, what a fight with Doom would look like. But it's not going to be the full solo. Nobody had time for that. I was not motivated uh, to do that kind of a fight. Uh, I was very happy to use Archangel, who did it very, very quickly. All right. So basically, my thoughts on week number two. Uh, very, very much, uh, or <laughs> that's some bad grammar. Uh, it was easier than week number one. You have a lot more options, uh, for this fight. Omega Red can work. Doom, Warlock, obviously Archangel, they can all work. Uh, any shock immune, um, champion could possibly work, but it might be a very long fight. Uh, I saw uh, Karate Mike trying to use um, Electro. It didn't look pretty. Uh, it was. It, it looked like it was going to be a very long fight, and Electro was a little bit squishy as well. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend him. Uh, and there's some others that uh, people tried that uh, just did not work out very well. But uh, Omega Red, I know, uh, will work. All right. And you see here, I was trying to do a little bit of that Doom cycle, but I don't really know how to play Doom. Uh, because I run Suicides, I've never really invested the time to learn how to really play him because he's not suicide friendly. But he is an awesome champion. Uh, if you have him, this will be a way for you to finish this content. It may take a while. You might fall asleep in the middle of it, maybe have to revive, uh, but he can definitely do it. Uh, and I'm not sure who else I'd have to. I'm pretty sure uh, YouTubers are going to come out with uh, different options. Uh, I know some people were talking about Namor. I don't know how uh, well Namor uh, did. I haven't seen any solos with Namor yet, um, but Archangel definitely in my opinion is the mvp all right he did it so far the fastest and the easiest uh you just have to worry about a little bit of the rng and uh that's it all right so you can see here uh i, I took out a, a pretty good chunk of his health so what i'm doing here towards the end uh i'm playing around with different strategies to see if there was a better way to uh, cycle. And you'll notice in the beginning, I was doing like full five hit combos. And of course, you know, he was healing up a lot. But what I started doing towards the end was just doing a, a tap, get the shock, and then just keep doing that until I built up enough uh, power to get a special uh, three. So you see here, see what I just did there? Look at that, one hit, shock, it wore off, hit him again, just wait it out, just keep building up the uh, power that way. Uh, I don't know if that turned out to be a little bit better, um, but it seemed like uh, I could gain my power a little bit faster doing that. But I'm sure there's better strategies. All right, so we're coming to the end now. Uh, there we go. I just went ahead and uh, self-destructed, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know who you used uh, and, and how you did against this Mr. Sinister. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.